Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke, Act 5. Jaden looks around Fortria, admiring all the houses in the trees. She takes a moment to think about her team. Alright, we're not gonna make the same mistake as last time. We'll get overleveled for this gym. Jaden continues into Route 120 where she sees a familiar face. Hmm? Jaden! Hi! It's been a while! There's something in our path that we can't see. Now, if I were to use this device on the invisible obstacle... No, no, rather than describing it, I should just show you. That would be more fun. Steven uses the Devon scope and the Cacleon becomes visible. Fine, I'll call you Blur. I see. Your battle style is intriguing. Your Pokemon have obviously grown since I first met you in Doofin. Here, take this Devon scope. I'm sure there are more around in this area. Well, let's meet again somewhere. Jaden continues along Route 120, battling trainers and growing stronger. Before long, Cotton evolves into an Alteria, and Edith also evolves into a Vibrava. Out of sheer luck, Jaden also finds another revive. Ah, uh, best save it for a rainy day. After training her Pokemon, Jaden returns back to Fortree and enters the gym meeting the leader. I am Winona. I'm the leader of the Fortree Pokemon Gym. I've become one with bird Pokemon and have soared the skies. However grueling the battle, we have triumphed with grace. Witness the elegant choreography of bird Pokemon and I. Go, Swablu! Cotton, I know you can do this. Cotton defeats Swablu. Well, I guess we should make it an even match. You're up, Altaria! Cotton almost defeats Altaria with Ice Beam. Winona uses a Hyper Potion but is defeated the following turn. This one should trip you up. It's your turn, Tropius! Ice Beam, again. Cotton defeats Tropius in a single hit. Alright. Pelipper, it's your time to shine! Come back, Cotton. John, use Leaf Blade. John defeats Pelipper. Alright. Last one. I better make it count. Go! Skarmory! Mario, let's weak against fire. Use Ember. Skarmory strikes first, almost killing Mario. The Ember deals damage, but not enough. Oh crap! Alright, come back Mario. You can finish this, Cotton. Winona uses a Hyper Potion, and after a few Ice Beams, Cotton defeats Skarmory. Never before have I seen a trainer command Pokémon with more grace than I. In recognition of your prowess, I present to you the Feather Badge. <laughs> Only two more to go. With this badge, you'll be able to use the move Fly. It's an easy way to return to towns you've already been to. That would actually come in very useful. As Jaden leaves the gym, her Pokénav starts to ring. Way to go, Jaden! Just as I thought, you won at Fortree Gym. Your strength, perhaps you really are the trainer that I've been searching for. Remember, you have a fan in me. I'll be cheering from the sidelines. Keep up the great work. How the hell did he know I just defeated the gym? Leaving Fortree behind, Jaden passes through Route 120 and enters Route 121. Before she knows it, a Shuppet appears. Aww, a ghost Pokemon would come in handy. Edith defeats Shuppet. Oh, come on. Off in the distance, Jaden sees a group of Aqua Grunts. Not these guys again. Okay, we're to move out to Mount Pyre. The group of Grunts start walking south. Eh, I'll deal with them later. There's a Safari Zone up ahead. Welcome to the Safari Zone. All you can catch for just $500. Would you like to play? Yes, please. Excuse me, you seem to be without a Pokeblock case. Your Safari game will be much more fruitful if you use Pokeblocks. Please come back with one. You may obtain one from the Lily Cove Contest Hall. I hate all these side quests. As Jaden is turned away, she finds another revive. I get the feeling I'm gonna need these for the Elite Four. Jaden arrives in Lily Cove. As she's looking, Jaden notices Brennan exiting a department store. Oh hey Jaden, are you shopping too? Of course I've also caught a lot of Pokemon and I'm racing them. I'll battle with you so we can see who's raced them the best. Go Tropicus! Cotton. Ice Beam. Cotton defeats Tropius. Alright Pelipper. John. Leaf Blade. John defeats Pelipper. Alright Combuskin, time to heat things up. Rage. You sir. Rage defeats Combuskin. Last one, Ludicolo! <sighs> Cotton... Peg. Cotton defeats Ludicolo. Whew, you definitely race your Pokémon well. I remember the battle I had with you back on Route 103. 
I'm thinking of going back to Little Root soon. I caught a decent group of Pokemon. You have four! And my Pokedex is coming along, so I'm going to show my dad. What would you do, Jaden? Collect all the gym badges and challenge the Pokemon League? I'm just trying to find a Pokeblock case. Inside a contest hall, Jaden finally gets the Pokeblock case. Great! Now I go into the Safari Zone. Welcome to the Safari Zone. All you can catch for just $500. Would you like to play? Yes. Now I've finally gotten the stupid Pokeblock case. I'm not gonna use it though. Here are your 30 Safari Balls. Good luck with that you catch. Inside Area 1, Jaden finds a Giraffe Ring. After throwing six balls, the Pokemon flees. Fine. I'll go to Area 2. While surfing on water, Jaden discovers a Psyduck. After throwing a single ball, the Pokemon disappears back into the water. Oh, come on! Looking across the water, Jaden sees something shiny. As she gets closer, she finds another Max Revive. Woohoo! Better than a Psyduck! In Area 3, Jaden finds a Doe Duo. After throwing a single ball, she manages to catch it. I'll call you Wing. Exiting the Safari Zone, Jaden discovers a Max Revive on Route 121. I thought Steven said they were rare. While fishing on Route 122, Jaden finds a Walmer. I'll call you Moby, but with an eye, because you're a girl. Arriving at Mount Pyre, Jaden soon finds a Shuppet. This time, I won't defeat it, and you'll be called Strings. As Jaden climbs to the top of Mount Pyre, fog begins to appear. No wonder this is where the ghost Pokémon are. In the distance, she can see the Aqua Grunts. Fine. Time to deal with you guys. After defeating the Grunts, Jaden comes face to face with Archie. Team Magma's Maxi got ahead of us, but we also got what we wanted. The Red Orb preserved at Mount Pyre. I, Archie, now have it in my possession. <laughs> now we can bring our ultimate objective to fruition. Okay, team. We're pulling out. In the blink of an eye, Archie and his grunts disappear. An old couple comes up to Jaden. Oh no, this cannot happen. Not only the blue orb, but even the red orb has been taken. The two orbs must never be separated. They belong together. What are those men trying to do with the two orbs? Oh yeah, was it Team Magma who came and took the blue orb first? Well, in their haste, they left this behind. Here, take it. It might be useful in some way. Jaden receives the magma emblem. Is it a coincidence that you are here? I have a tale told in the Hoenn region. It happened long, long ago. You see, the world was racked by a vicious clash between the Pokémon of the land and the Pokémon of the sea. The Pokémon of the land raised mountains and created continents. The Pokémon of the sea raised huge waves and carved out oceans. Their fierce duel raged without end. The world was engulfed in massive inferno and vicious storms. The blue orb and the red orb brought an end to the calamity. Light poured from the two orbs and becalmed the enraged adversaries. The pair made docile, dove deep into the ocean, where eventually they disappeared. Well, I think we can guess what Magma and Aqua are up to. I'm guessing Team Magma's base is at the volcano near Lava Ridge. Thanks for watching. We've got a Patreon if you want to support the channel. With Patreon, we hope to move on to bigger projects while also rewarding our fans. Other ways to help the channel is by subscribing and sharing. We'll see you next time!